South End Marwa were first introduced to us uh, almost two years ago now, when they were just a few months of age. The family did not know that this was a conjoint pregnancy, so it was a bit of a surprise when they arrived. Conjoint twins um, are very, very unusual. And then when you then talk about being conjoined at the head, the technical term is craniopagus twins, the incidence that we caught is approximately you know, one per million, one per two million babies. Asafa has always been a bit boisterous. She's always been the first to count or speak. And Marwa, she's kind of more cheeky, where as soon as Safa goes to sleep, Marwa comes out to shine. It's like Marwa's time. So at Great Ormond Street, we have dedicated teams of surgeons, physicians, nurses, anaesthetists, who are all very experienced in uh, dealing with conjoined twins. We are dealing with uh, almost two-year-old children, but they are stuck together right on the top. The challenge would be to understand the altered anatomy. These are very complex procedures, but the secret of doing them properly is, is like any other complex problem. You take it and break it down into smaller, much more manageable steps. After several operations, they're finally separated. I would be optimistic that by their third birthday, they should be walking. That's what I would hope to see.